Hey there, Scorpio. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Scorpio, Crosswatcher, anybody that was drawn here, really. Take what fits. Aww. Take what fits. Leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message. If you have a series of readings that aren't hitting home, take a break. Let's go ahead and start with the Animal Spirit Oracles. They're already talking to us. Just a couple overall here. And then, oh, interesting. We're going to do a free-for-all with the Naked Heart Tarot. You have Turkey Spirit, Give with Grace and Gratitude. But then you also have Groundhog Spirit, Time to Let Go. I'm really getting the sense that it's time to let something go with love. And compassion. Being grateful for what you did have, but recognizing that maybe it's time to move on. Or it's time to let something, someone go. I'm hearing, I love you, but I can't do this anymore. I need to let you go so that you can do what you need to do. And I need to let you go so that I can do what I need to because it's just not the same. It really feels like two people, maybe friends or even romance, where you guys are just growing apart. You're, you're not, you don't have the, the same, the similarities that you used to. You know, it happens sometimes. People just grow apart. Um, I'm also getting this energy where we're going to have some empty nesters. And they're having a really hard time letting their children, they're getting these acceptance letters from colleges and it's going to be really hard. Or maybe their relationship has progressed and they're going to be moving out and they're not going to be living with you anymore. Or maybe, um, like there's, there's, there's so much here. Somebody is having a hard time letting go. It's you, Scorpio. Um, but at the same time, you know you need to. And I think that wherever this message is coming from, whether it be divine ancestors, your higher self, God himself, um, the message here is to let go with grace. Letting go respectfully keeping your dignity intact throughout this process. It is emotional. It's very emotional. It's just time to let something go, Scorpio. And you know that. You, that's not... <laughs> you're not here to get confirmation on that. You already know that. It's just how. It's the how. In a sense of wands... It's also the fear of starting a new journey. But you are ready for it. The traveler there with the innocence of wands. I love you, but I have to do this is what I'm hearing as well. The five of cups, there it is. I'm telling you, it's... Bro, did the PlayStation just turn itself on? The cats aren't even over there. I know I just heard the PlayStation beep. There's no other beeps in this house that sound like that. That's weird. Anyways. Um, Five of Cups, that's the sadness in this loss. Like I said, it's going to be emotional for you. But look, there's a crow right here. Spirit is with you. Spirit is with you. Is it one crow for sorrow? And that's one crow. Seven of cups. Yeah, so there's a part of you that doesn't really know what to expect next. Or, um... There's so many things that you could expect next that you're not really sure, you know, which one is, is more likely or 
that's okay. It's okay to not know all the things moving forward. Coming from a psychic medium, I don't want to know all the things. Some of these things, I'm better off not knowing. I'm so fucking serious right now. I'm Look me in the eyes. I'm so serious. There is a lot of confusion. There's a... See, and I think that's where you could possibly trip up with the whole grace, dignity. Yeah, because that's... It. Okay, because this could lead to frustration, and frustration can lead to that chaos energy, which takes away from that respectful bowing out. Don't let that get you. It's okay to not know everything. It's okay to have questions. It's okay to experience this process that you're experiencing. I really don't know how else to put it other than to just say it straight up like that. <clears throat> um, Scorpio. Nine of Wands. You're tough. You're tough. You are most likely a spiritual warrior. You've been through a lot. And you can hang in there. You can. But this is something that does have the potential to really wound you, hurt you, slow you down, knock you off your feet. That's why this is... This needs to be handled with care. This is delicate. This is a very fragile situation, you know? But you're still hanging in there. You're tough. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like it was just kind of a matter of time. The tower, until this fell apart. If it falls on the floor, it comes to your door. If you don't feel like you have the strength now, you will. That's part of what you don't understand, what you don't see coming. The unknown is the amount of strength that's coming in. Um, there is a heavy energy of courage here as well. You're going to be very brave. Very brave. And I think a part of this bravery is coming in, not just because of the process, but to help you get through it, right? So when you, when you first initiate this letting go that you're getting ready to do here, um... You need to find the courage to do it, right? But once it happens, you're locked in. And now you have that courage. It's locked in too, right? Everything that, that kicks it off is going to lock into place. And then as you go through this, that's when the things become more real and they build more and more, right? So you are gaining courage by doing this. And you had to muster the courage to even get it started. I said that backwards, but you catch my drift, right? The courage you needed to start it is just going to grow and grow and grow the more you really see this through. I almost want to say this time. It's going to resonate for some, not for all. Seven of Wands. And really setting strong boundaries with this. Right? So this is something, yeah, you have tried to let this go before. You have tried to give this up or walk away. Movement of pentacles, but you got stuck. And then you found out more information that was even more conflicting and made you realize, I, I, I do need to move. It's like you keep trying to justify something or you keep trying to maintain the peace. But like there's just too much of that, like I said, chaos energy. It becomes more and more apparent because you keep finding more of it, right? So instead of being stuck in the quicksand, set the healthy boundaries and stick to them. You got this. You got this, Scorpio, right? Just throw it in the bag. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave this right here. I hope this resonates with who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, yeah. Stay beautiful.